Hi, my name is Athena Gatmeyer. I'm a crystal intuitive and certified crystal healer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crystal Empowerment. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I've reached a milestone for myself, which is 200 subscribers, and I do appreciate it very much and hope it continues to grow from here. This video, especially for you, it's a video I did on another channel a while ago but it needs an update and it's a video about selenite. Selenite is an amazing crystal. It's one of my top two recommended stones. If you get any crystal and you're only going to get one, get a clear quartz. If you're going to get two crystals, get a clear quartz and a selenite. This crystal raises a vibration doesn't require clearing and cleansing. However you can do it, don't use it in water. Don't ever put it in water, it will dissolve. I know I've done it. I've left mine out in the rain and they start to lose their polish. And you don't want that to happen. You don't want to waste your money or the crystal. So, this is a very important stone. It helps bring in your angels and guides and raise a vibration can help clear and cleanse other crystals. So if you put crystals on top of this, they will be cleared after you leave them for a while. So be sure to get one of these. The thing I really love about selenite, is you can see these long striations in the crystal. And they remind me of ligaments and tendons. And it's very interesting that they help so much with healing issues related to tendon, ligament, and fascia damage. So consider working with one of these if you have any of those type of issues. So how do you clear and cleanse your aura with selenite? It's really, really easy. It's almost like brushing your hair. You just really literally go like this. And you can feel it. I can feel it now. If you're sensitive to the crystal energy, you can feel it. And just do this all over your body and back up a little bit so you can see what I do. it. Just touch it to the earth to ground the stone and the energy. You can literally feel other people's entanglements, these energy burrs leaving your auric field. I like to do this behind my back. Feels like I get a lot of stuff happening that's like an attachment to my heart chakra. Especially seems to attach to the back of the heart chakra. So I hope you found this video to be useful in your journey. Thanks for watching me. Please continue to describe, subscribe. <laughs> I'll continue to describe. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.